All right, so Me11X, we are talking about a yet another custom ROM from Team Bliss. Now, I have some connection with this, not with the ROM team, but with the ROM. This is a ROM that I've used in the past on a lot of devices. I don't exactly remember the Android version, but I think I've seen Bliss ROM on Android 8 onwards. So this is a ROM which is special because I've experienced it in the past and to see it on one of the latest cutting edge devices on the latest Android version is always a good feeling. Now I used it since you know yesterday, I flashed it, ran the benchmark numbers, did the usual drill which I do to give you guys a review. And yeah, Android 12 ROMs for me 11X have something special and that's what we are going to talk about today. So before we get into the details, a happy new year to you guys. I know I'm wishing late, but nonetheless, this year may bring you good health and prosperity. And if you think you like chatting with like-minded people, please join us on Telegram. We have more than 1500 people having the fun there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so Bliss OS or Bliss ROM, Team Bliss is what we are talking about. So the first thing that I always usually do is go to the official group and you know show you the details. By the way, this video is coming up as well, Palladium OS. This is another ROM which has been there for some time and that's a good thing, right? So there you have it, Bliss OS unofficial version 15 based on Android 12 released on the 1st of January 2021. Now, if we look at the changelog over here, Blissify settings, safety net passed, updated Optimus drunk to 11.31, updated blobs to this, 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 refresh rate settings, added camera go and some Gcam fixes, that's always a good thing. Fixed status bar padding and camera halo, some optimization and fixes, right? Now that's not a very long changelog, but that's a good thing for initial Android 12 release and although it is unofficial. Now, the thing here is that whenever you talk about an Android 12 based USB custom ROM for the Mi 11X, either it is the processor or either it is a, it is a super refined source code that we are talking about, these ROMs perform really, really well. Now, the first thing that you'll see is the app icon animation. Now, again, this is sitting in a sweet spot. It's really, really nice. It opens fine. It closes fine. The app icon animations are great, right? If you swipe from the top to bottom, you do get quick tiles over here, which are usual, nothing unusual going on over here like Descendant OS. This is a very standard Android 12 affair that we are talking about. You do have a lot of quick tiles over here. And if you go to the edit menu, you will see that you have CPU info, reboot, AOD off, caffeine, ambient display, dark theme, invert colors, and your privacy quick access tiles. And you will have a screen recorder somewhere here. I don't know why they're hiding the screen record with these. This is a third video in which I can find it. Where are you? Oh, screen recorder, found it, right. So you do have a built-in screen recorder. If you go ahead and click on that, you can record internal and external audio. You will get a timer and then it should be working fine. Now remember, we are talking about the Mi 11X, which has never had a problem recording the screen with AOSP ROMs on Android 12. And it shows, you know, there are no stutters. The Google feed, even without the screen recorder, works butter smooth in 120Hz mode. And it does continue the same thing over here as well. So nothing to worry there. Let's stop the screen recording and increase the audio because we want to test what we recorded here. Okay, I do have some disappointing news for you guys. Uh, yeah, the screen recording is stuttery. So if you're going to be on this particular ROM, don't use the built-in screen recorder. It's it's going to lag when in when you look at or play back the recording. But that's not everything, right? There are other features that we can talk about. For example, the Google feed, as I said, is working absolutely okay. If you go to the home settings, you do have the Pixel Launcher, which has a few settings and they work fine. You do have the Android 12 widgets over here, which are present and work okay. And then you have wallpaper and style. So if you change the wallpaper, you will not only get themed icons. For example, let's go to this wallpaper over here. There you have it. Yep. And you have themed icons as well. So Monitor is present. It works absolutely okay. Oh, look at this. These, oh. 
you see this right this this should have been here up top near the camera this thing symbol are there any more wallpapers like that nah are they calling it motif or something no. anyways the wallpapers are good they work absolutely fine so you know monet ui is doing a great job nothing to worry there and the whole ui smoothness is good if you go to the multitasking menu the memory management is pretty decent and it works okay in you know the multitasking menu you do have split screen pause app all these options screenshot with extended screenshot is present and works fine you do have the select option as well calling functionalities with wi-fi calling are working okay so i've not had any problems there so you don't have the assistant shortcuts you have a google search pill over here and then you have gcam go now gcam go is present it gives you a better you know experience compared to the very very basic usp camera that is included so yeah gcam go is present this rom comes very very deep bloated no bloatware whatsoever the music player is called phonograph for some reason and uh, there was one more app that i saw i don't know what app that was anyways you have safety and then you have settings so if you go to settings over here and you will see that this is version 15 beta and under android version you will see that it comes with the optimus drunk alieth kernel so that's a good thing now the thing that highlights over here is bliss settings everything else else is going to be same more or less you do have something called as blissify now remember this is an unofficial initial build so there are things which are missing for example animations is blank right now if you go to buttons you do have some customization over here which works absolutely fine you do have gestures but you don't have three finger screenshot option over here lock screen customization is present with mu music visualizer then you do have some notification customization power menu with advanced reboot quick settings you know you can pause the video and see all these options that are present then you have status bar customization with battery percentage those things you know traffic indicators and everything is enabled and that works absolutely fine so you know you have the themes option in which you can customize monet and then you have miscellaneous in which you have some basic info now apart from this if you go to display over here you will see that you have pocket mode minimum maximum refresh rate you have colors like adaptive boosted and all these options which are working with the preview so all in all android 12 features are present but if you ask me say you know let's go to battery over here you don't have thermal profiles over here even if you go to apps you don't have the game dashboard so you don't really have a gaming mode you don't have thermal profiles you don't have the 180 hertz touch sampling rates so those things are missing over here but nothing to worry this is an initial build and things will get added with time now, if you talk about the important part over here, say if you talk about the safety net, the Google Play device certification, the device is certified, safety net passes, Widevine L1 is present, so no problem there. Now, let's talk about the benchmark numbers because that's important and that's what you are here for. Now, if you go to the screen shots menu and you see this, 232, 149 GIPS with 95% throttle. Now, that's a very good performance. Remember this device gives you average of 250 something so that's very close to stock if you talk about the geekbench numbers over here 947 single core 2857 multi-core low multi-core score but good score for a android 12 based custom rom which is unofficial and if you talk about the antutu number 696 664 so no doubt that the performance numbers are pretty rock solid. The ROM is extremely smooth. It has almost all the Android 12 features minus the gaming mode and stuff like that. And there are a few things that they need to fix here and there. But I think you can definitely use Bliss ROM as a daily driver. It gives you decent battery life, good charging speeds, and it is an overall very, very smooth ROM. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular update. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.